Hello, Brave Awakened Ones. This is Veronica, Lady V of HigherRealmHolistics.com. Empath, intuitive, certified, holistic, integrative health nurse, author. Um, I also have my Lady V's teas. Every day is a new day. Every day is an opportunity for a do-over. <laughs> I like saying that. It's one of my teas. There's teas, there's hoodies, some merch, okay? Um... And also my webinars and meditations, they're ready when you're ready. I'm also having another webinar this weekend, Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Time to bury your old life, give it a proper burial, the old you, and welcome in the new you. We're doing both at the same time in this webinar, okay? So if you're ready for that step, that big step, I know I'm ready. I had to do this actually a couple of years ago before I stepped into this. What I'm doing now and now I'm ready to go higher so I'm ready to bury the old and go into the new again so uh, if you're ready for that join me this Saturday 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it's only 22 bucks for my webinars I have meditations only for $11 okay so head on over to HiramHolistics.com for everything and also to book sessions if you wish Lightwork or Sherpa okay <laughs> and uh, this is NRV 46 now I'm losing my voice. It's going in and out. Whenever I don't, I feel weird about doing something. Um, this is this this happened overnight. Th and by the way, thank you, subscriber supporters, and thank you, my Patreons, everyone that joined le in last night for the invocation of y Yemaya. Yemaya, okay, um, to bring the womb of creation, Earth Goddess goddess of the sea together with Saturn which went direct stationed direct yesterday okay so it was amazing it was so intense uh, you could still do it it's available you know um, I did a live stream so it's right on YouTube do it it's very it's it's very intense and it's and um, yeah something cool to do okay and um, I was like knocked out real quick after that last night and it's always between the hours of 1 and 6, I have whatever other experiences I'm going to have. And this is not the first time I had this experience, but it was even more intense. Because it's like here. And it was Thoth. He's always the one that takes me off planet and shows me things. And um, it's like, ugh, I don't want to talk about this because, you know, people get so, I'm going to get a million questions, crazy emails. People will probably try to even call me and just, you know, try to go bananas. Just chill. That's all I got to say before I say any of this. Just chill, okay? Chill. You're where you're supposed to be. Chill. All right? So what I was shown and what I experienced had to do with Nibiru, Planet 9, Planet X, whatever you want to call it. Because... They're going to, they, those who've been controlling the world, the, the, um, I don't know, deep state, cabal, whatever you want to call it, those uh, new world order people, if you want to even call them that, um, they're, they're already starting to step out with the soft disclosure, okay? And the alliance, they're trying to keep, they're trying to, they're, they're stepping up with them. Because they're going to try to do a self, the the, the um, dark ones, the negative ones, they're going to try to do a partial disclosure thing so they can have control. So they could try to run that, um, you know, Messiah program. Okay? And they're also going to, um, with, the, with that soft disclosure, again, the Messiah program, that's what my oversoul calls it, the Messiah program, where they're going to, you know, say, yeah, there are alien beings here. That's why they dropped that film saying that um, that these uh, people in the military uh, filmed these crafts that were, that were, you know, I forgot the exact terms because they didn't call it UFO, unidentified, whatever, right? Um, they're dropping that. So I told you everything's going to come at once and everything's going to pop off this year. Because come 2020, when they're the dark ones, those Agenda 21 people are being completely exposed and dragged out, the deeper ones, what right now we got just the surface ones coming up and out, okay? But the real deep ones are going to be coming out in 2020. 
and the dismantling and the unraveling of the 3D constructs. Even though 3D's down, there are plenty of people still under the spell that are keeping the blankets over their head that don't want to know the truth, but they're not going to be able to turn away in 2020. They could try, and if they do, they're doomed, okay? So, I mean, but they have a couple of years, but as time goes on, it's tougher and tougher and tougher to catch up. Do you know what I mean? So what does this have to do with everything I experienced last night? I got to stop beating around the bush. Um, <laughs> like I say, I go kicking and screaming, but at least I go. Um, so with that whole disclosure thing coming up already, which I knew it would, I said before the end of this year, um, and uh, they're doing it because they're not going to be able to hide this fact anymore, what's going on. It's also very connected to all those asteroids that have been coming into our atmosphere, some hitting the Earth, some, you know, disintegrating upon entering our atmosphere. The reason why that is happening is due the turbulence that's happening. It's because our solar system is a binary solar system. There is another solar system. Yes, there is a brown dwarf star. And I actually learned this back in college when I, when I took this. Um, there's a, we're in a binary solar system. But what they didn't tell me in college and what they're hiding is that the outer planets of that solar system, as we are rotating together, going like this, those outer band of planets from that other solar system cross into our solar system. And there's something, you know how there's the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter? There's something called the Kuiper belt, which was always there. I learned about that in college too. Filled with asteroids. Um, okay, comets. Filled with comets and stuff like that. So as those outer planets from that other solar Swiss system that go around that brown dwarf star as it crosses us because the Kuiper belt is part of our is part of our solar system too it the Kuiper belt is is way out there like it's past Neptune okay so as it's going you know Pluto whatever it's it's past that but it's still contained in our solar system as though that outer band of planets passes through, it crosses the Kuiper belt and it loosens those comets that come down as asteroids, bombard the Earth and bombard the other planets and stuff like that. Okay? And what I was shown was yes, Nibiru is there. That's one of the that's like the largest planet in that solar system, that other solar system that crosses over to us where the Anunnaki were. Okay, so I see it, and those and there's other smaller, much smaller planets also. I keep seeing a blue one with some rings. Um, and it crosses over into our solar system. So our sky, a lot of the spraying going on right now. Some of it, yes. Is this stuff is weather control? Some of it's weather control, okay? Mixed in with stuff to control all the living beings here on Earth and to pollute the Earth and stuff in the air to kill us off. But a lot of it also, and it's a different mixture I was shown, is to literally block us from seeing those planets that are coming into our solar system. Nibiru is huge. I mean, I even put a video of it. It was like right there by the sun. I even have a video with a big mothership underneath it. So you could look for that video and you could see the outline of Nibiru right over the mothership, which was making these weird clouds, those puffy cotton clouds to try to cover it. And you saw the, the distortion in the air. Okay, a lot of time when you see that distorted, those distorted looking clouds, uh, and then they come into the, they look like puff cotton balls afterwards. That's the distortion to try to cover, okay? They're trying to cover those, those planets. And it's not necessarily a bad thing because, yeah, it sucks that we should know, but humans, the majority, you know, the, the, the muggles, the normies, it would freak them out. Everything freaks them out, as you could say. They're, they're like a trigger, it's like hairpin trigger. You know, everything freaks them out. So until they reach enough, awakenness 
some type of spiritual maturity, it will freak them out to know this. Okay. It freaks out people who are even awake, who say they're ascending and stuff still freaks them out because they're not at a certain level of ascension where they could be cool about it. So these planets and it's like I saw four of them. Nibiru was the biggest and there was another one that was, it was big, but it was, um, because Nibiru is like even, is like bigger than Jupiter. It's humongous. It's like the size of our sun. Um, and then you have smaller ones. I guess they're not that small. They're, they're big compared to Earth, but compared to Nibiru, they're small. Um, there's four altogether that I saw entering our solar system and causing a lot of disturbance going on. There's going to be a lot of disturbance in, in our solar system for the next few years which has to do <clears throat> which has to do with everything that's going on just the changes going on in in our galaxy because of where because of the binary system you got the binary system going on okay then on top of that we're in the photon belt we're in a very active part of the photon belt also all those weird disturbances you see in the sky I wish I had a really good camera I do have a good camera but it, it's kind of old where I could video, but a lot of people are already doing this. It's not lightning that you're seeing in those skies. It's not regular lightning coming down. You see it coming across. I see a lot of it, especially since I'm by the ocean. It is crazy the way it's like weird looking thick, then thin and going across, making strange shapes. Nothing's hitting the ground. And this is almost every night. It's like growing across, growing across, growing across. Sometimes there's sound, sometimes there's no sound. Sometimes all you hear is this weird rumbling. There's a lot of strangeness in the sky. And it's just going to get more and more intense in the next couple of years and more and more visible. People are going to start freaking out because the normies are going to start seeing it. But hopefully enough of, enough, enough of them will wake up where they won't be freaking out. I don't know, taking out their machine guns and shooting at the sky. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Um, that's why I was like so weird about talking about it, but I was like, I heard it and I felt the rumbling and the earth is going to rumble and shake due to it. Like it will just feel like an earthquake like that as those outer planets from that other solar system enter our solar system. I mean, it's already there. They're crossing the Kuiper belt. So imagine that we could see Nibiru that big, as big as our sun. And it's as far out as the Kuiper belt. And a lot of us who are observant enough just to freaking look up in the goddamn sky, there it is. We could see it. And then the smaller ones we're starting to see too. Like the one, like there's like, they're, they're not that, like all of them are actually bigger than Earth. But again, compared to Nibiru, they're small. We're, we're starting to see them too. Like I've seen them too. Um, it's just going to become more and more evident like we're going to see features of them not just outlines and stuff like that but we're going to see definite features and you know some people could see colors too I've seen that too of, of planet 9, planet X, Nibiru whatever so that is what's going to start happening okay <laughs> where do I go from there okay the, the second half of this is um, early this morning, between 4 and 6, I had Lilith come to me. She's known as Adam's first wife, but she was banished from the garden. And they keep saying Lilith is a demon and everything like that. No, most of us who are awake and ascending, we know Lilith was not a demon. Lilith was banished because she wouldn't play slave. And eventually through her spiritual evolution the way it would because she came to me she like came right into me just like uh uh yamaya did yamaya yamaya is is the is uh the womb of creation she's the sea the womb of creation and lilith is a goddess of the earth where yamaya is a goddess of the sea um, the top goddess of the sea. Lilith is the goddess of the earth. She is very synonymous with Gaia. When you think of Gaia, you think of Lilith. Lilith is the is the provider, mother energy. I just felt like a white swoop go right across me. 
So Lilith came up to me. Um, she had dark, long black hair. She had like olive colored skin. So that's what Lilith looked like. So I was invoking Lilith and channeling her energy. Um, it's just all the, the, it's like the goddesses of earth are, wa are awakened. It's like, I saw her coming up out of the ground, out of the earth, out of the grass, and then for, until she formed herself, and then she was like, do you accept my energy? I'm like, yes. And then she said, I am Lilith. Um, goddess of the earth. I was like, okay. And then Yemaya raised up out of me to greet her. And she said she's here to merge with the goddess of the sea. It's the earth and the sea. It was it was beautiful. It was a great experience. Um, so yeah, you know, um, it, it's her. It's them merging with the energy of of uh, of Saturn. And the Lilith energy is very much Mars energy mixed with Uranus energy. That's her energy. Mars mixed with Uranus. That is the Lilith energy. Okay, so you could think of I keep she was like one of the original Amazon goddesses, one of the original Amazonian goddesses. That's what, the way she showed herself: warrior Amazonian goddess, too powerful to be bound. So instead of they couldn't bind her, so just like Uranus, they couldn't bind Uranus with the. With the uh, with the rings like they did Saturn, so you know you besmirch somebody. When you can't control somebody, what do you do? You smear them, right? You talk shit about them, uh, make them look bad, call them a demon. So that was that's what's up with Lilith. Okay, so um, yeah, wanted <laughs> to put that out there. Ooh, when I say I had anxiety talking about the whole binary solar system thing, my heart is just like palpitating right now, it's like almost chest pain. That, that much anxiety just talking about it. I think it's a beautiful thing. I cannot wait. But I know in that there's going to be a lot of death and destruction coming in with that. You know, maybe, it's, of course, I'm feeling that way because I know I'm safe and secure. And please don't write me. Don't comment saying, am I safe and secure? Where should I be? I can't answer that. Don't do that. Okay? Just keep going. And doing the right thing for yourself and your loved ones. Just know you're supposed, you are where you're supposed to be. Just and also don't discount yourself. Okay, don't question like if you're if you're getting deep feelings or oversoul saying, okay, you can't be in this state or in this country. Leave, go here, and shows you stuff. Don't doubt and question yourself. Follow it. Okay. That's part of the earth changes I was talking about when I said there was going to be a lot of earth changes. That's part of it. And yes, it's going to disrupt the, the magnetosphere. It's going to disrupt our atmosphere in general. It's going to warp the sun. It's The sun's going to be like, the way I see it, it's like, it's like almost like Nibiru. It's like pulling on it. And it's like, because the sun is all plasma. Nibiru has solid parts. And it's like, like our sun's going to look almost oblong. And like, that's what's going to freak people out. Our sun changing. But that coming in also has to do with the sun going nova. It's a lot of, I can't even go into it. It's just so much. I'd be here for hours. I'm not going to do a separate thing on it. Nor am I going to do a live stream and, and talk about it and stuff like that. I, I'm already doing this and it's uncomfortable enough for me. So I'm not going to make myself more anxious. All right, and talking about it, taking on the anxiety of everybody. That's part of it. I can't stand feeling the anxiety. It's too much for me. Okay, so do 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 what you will with this information. Okay, it's up to you. Um, again, I find it is a beautiful thing. It's something to know, to keep in your mind, so you could help, you know, when the normies start finally noticing and with all the partial disclosure stuff coming out, you know, it always comes with a lot of BS and they're going to try to run that Messiah um, program. That's why they're doing it in the first place. Um, try to trick as many normies as possible before they, they actually wake up. I'm not talking about being woke because being woke is the BS 
you know, everything's a, a um, everything they do in 3D is an inversion. The woke is, is the inversion of being awakened. You know, because those woke people, they're anything but that. Everything they're accusing everyone who's not them being of, that is exactly what they are. Because again, it's inversion. Okay? All right, everyone. That's it. <laughs> Go to HiramHolistics.com if you're interested in any of my uh, stuff, my, you know, merch, books, webinars. Okay? Lady V, out. Okay? We got the victory.